Copeland. You're at the home of Guinness on the St. Patrick's Festival. How's everybody doing? Today it is Friday, one day before uh, St. Patrick's Day, and um, we're uh, en route to, uh, if I'm not wrong, a um, abandoned prison. I think it's an old prison, so we're on the way. We just hopped on on the train to make it a little easier than walking. So that's where we're headed to. So we walked about a good 10 minutes from the trolley station that we were at. And now we're here. <coughs> Sit down. I think this might be the entrance, yeah. yeah. It's just crazy to see that like that type of structure, like, like medieval time style. Before we go into the jail, just a little bit of health and safety stuff. First off, Kilmainham Jail obviously is a very old building and because of this the doorways are low and the steps are worn and the ground is uneven so all the lovely tall people, you're going to have to watch your heads going through the doors but everybody has to be careful, especially going up and down the stairs, please use the handrail, okay? Alright, so we just finished the tour here at, this, uh, at the prison. Uh, that was pretty interesting, I liked it. Um, she was very uh, knowledgeable and very, uh, uh, was easy to understand. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. Uh, it's always cool to know the history of a country and obviously a city, but that was, that was really, really interesting. And, uh, it, you know, it gives you, um, you appreciate life more because of what people went through in the 1800s and 1900s uh, in their cities to our countries to become what they are now and the freedom that we have is uh, it's very grateful for, uh, for all these people that sacrificed for us but yeah anyways so we're on our way back to Dublin this is South Dublin so we're on our way back to the trolley and uh, go back into town and let's see what let's see what we do So I almost, almost fell and uh, <laughs> almost flew off. Yeah, that was funny. The guy was laughing at me. Who needs this? We're like touching her. All right, so we came back, rested, and now we're uh, on the way back to the hotel to meet up with some people you might remember. Recording? Yes. Oh look, I'm on recording! You'll, you'll be on YouTube. Oh, very good. There you go. They're preparing for tomorrow, right? Patrick's Day. There you go. 
So we came all the way from California just to celebrate it with them. Oh, we're more than happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love London. Oh, an adrenaline punch, huh? Amazing. So they came. Oh, this is, I mean, just different. Yeah. Or like. St. Patty's Day 2018. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And we're waiting for another couple. What up, man? What? How do you like London, man? London is the shit. London is the shit, huh? I don't shit. know why Marco hates London. I, I, I would, love London. I would move there. I would to move. Oh. Yeah, ready? Hold on, babe. We Hold almost left Bruno yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, it's our first trip. First time on the plane. Well, I know, she's doing good. Yes. So we just made it to the Guinness Storehouse. Hey! How are you? You're in now. Go. Don't Thank you. enjoy it. Vamos. So we bought tickets in advance and we bought the VIP tickets so we just bypassed a huge line and now this building is so massive. Don't post right now, Kevin. <laughs> All right, so we just ended the Guinness tour. Uh, dude, it was massive. Uh, it's crazy because Arthur Guinness actually signed a lease on this building for 90,000 years. And he did this in, in the 1800s. So just imagine that. That was nuts. So, yeah. If you ever come to Dublin, I mean, for sure you have to come and experience this. It's, it's crazy.